Here in Norman, Oklahoma, is the National Storm Prediction Center, where scientists invented the Doppler radar. It is also the research mecca for technology on tornadic outbreaks. This place acts almost like a newsroom, with meteorologists going back and forth checking each other's work. Thunderstorms. You mean severe thunders? No, I don't. The forecasting tornadoes is still difficult. Some days we have a better feel for uh, where large tornadoes will occur, but we never know precisely where. And tornadoes are violent, moving quickly, a dangerous mixture of air and water. The tornado blends up neighborhoods like a food processor, mashing them into pile after pile of living history. Even worse, most of the recent severe outbreaks have not been forming over green pastures. Rather, they have been targeting populated city centers like Tuscaloosa, Joplin, and Dallas, often injuring and taking numerous lives. If their forehead's not there, you ride it on the best available body part. Don't make it a limb. And as furious as the tornado twirls, just like that, it's gone, leaving a tormented population in severe mental and physical shock. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm fine. It's horrible. It's, it's, uh people's belongings that are spread out across the countryside and uh, the violence of a tornado is just is it's unbelievable these scenes are exactly what scientists want to stop and new technology may help that there are a couple of big things that are happening over the next decade one of them is new radars the phased array radar which allows us to look much more rapidly at storms than we currently do and in a lot more detail than we currently do we saw 10 or 11 tornadoes on saturday Detail is what Professor Howie Bluestein has spent his entire career gathering. He and his graduate students have been very busy the past year. Their goal? To get as close as possible to an active tornado. We're trying to learn uh, why tornadoes develop from certain type of storms, but not from others. Geared up with mobile Doppler radars and a lot of bravado, they chase, trying to get the radar as close to the tornado as possible. Without doing this, the curvature of the Earth impedes the Doppler from seeing what is happening close to the ground. What's unique about uh, this particular radar, the one that we're using, uh, is that it's rapid scan. The pedestal rotates around uh, once every two seconds. So we're able to see uh, the evolution of tornadoes which uh, evolve very, very quickly. It is the science and technology here in the Storm Prediction Center that is helping alert and hopefully save more lives when severe weather attacks. Robert Ray, Associated Press, Norman, Oklahoma.